Model Context Protocol, or MCP. If you're writing an agent today or integrating with, with tools, MCP is the protocol that you're going to use. There's plenty of videos out there explaining the basics of MCP as a protocol and how to use it. What I'd like to focus on today is some of the adoption experience and feedback we're seeing in the wild around adopting MCP at scale. And specifically, I want to focus on four key problems in this space. One is how we're establishing a registry of MCP tools that our agents have access to. The second is how I'm multiplexing or slicing individual tools for agents to consume. The third is the very diverse and heterogeneous security landscape around MCP tool servers. And the fourth is around observability and how I'm getting consistent and uniform observability across tools. Right now, it's pretty much up for agents to solve all of these problems on their own. What we really want to do here is establish, just as we did with AI Gateway for consumption around LLMs, we want to build an agent gateway that natively understands MCP so to clients of the gateway, it looks exactly like a tool server, but it can do so much more to offload some of these common problems and requirements from individual agents and secure those in a uniform way inside the gateway. So let's look at these use cases. The first is around registry. So why is registry important? The success of MCP as a protocol, if you look in public registries, you'll see tens of thousands of tool servers and you can search those tool servers for what tools exist there, right? There's probably, if each tool server had 10 tools in it, then that's hundreds of thousands of tools, right? The issue is mainly not going and seeing what tool servers are out there and available. The more important problem or question for any agent developer is what tools do I actually have access to? What tool servers are running in your infrastructure or available to you remotely that you can integrate with? And that problem is only solved by going to each individual tool server and querying the endpoint of that tool server, the discovery endpoint, to see the list of tools it has. Now you can see how daunting a problem this becomes when your organization starts integrating with tens or even hundreds of tool servers each agent developer independently going to the tool server and listing the tools is really going to kill development velocity. And also from the standpoint of people introducing duplicate tool servers or using tool servers that haven't been approved, is going to become a real problem there. What I'd love to do is actually for every tool server that I'm using in my organization, I declare that as an upstream to the agent gateway. The agent gateway can then collapse and federate those individual tools into a single tools registry. So I have a single point as an agent developer, even an agent implementation that might be doing dynamic integration, a single point to query for what tools are available. Now, as soon as I talk about bringing all these tools together, which is a great feature, I'm presented with a different problem. And that is for any given agent, that the, remember the brain of an agent is an LLM, for any given agent that's working with an LLM, if I present more than 15, 20 tools max, the quality and the performance of that agent degrades substantially. It simply gets confused by all the tools it has access to. So I have to be very specific in the tools that I wanna give it access to. So I just said, I'm taking all the tools and bringing them into a single location, a single registry. Isn't that gonna confuse all my agents? And the answer is no. What I can do is when I have with multiplexing, I can bring all the tools into a single control point in a single registry, but if I have agent one, agent two, and agent three, I can also multiplex and only make certain tools available to certain agents. So let's say agent one, its use case actually spans three different tool servers and maybe only a few specific tools in each one of those tool servers. Instead of having to integrate with each tool server individually and figure out the auth protocols it supports, the endpoints uh, it's available at and this type of thing, all of that is brought into a single routable endpoint in the gateway where the agent is only presented with the tools it needs and more importantly, does not have access to tools that it shouldn't be using. And this, speaking of tools that agents shouldn't be using, is a great segue into security as a concern. This landscape here is all over the place. The landscape is all the way from in the original versions of the MCP spec that each tool server was a full OAuth authorization server to uh, tool servers that were designed for local computer use, where they never thought they would be shared by teams. And so you're baking credentials in with no external security at all. 
So you're dealing with this very heterogeneous landscape of security. And from a platform perspective, I need to bring some consistency and uniformity to that to make it easy for developers of agents to integrate with tools, but also to make sure I'm implementing security uniformly across that. I can do this in a, in, in a couple of very important ways with Agent Gateway. First, agent facing, I can implement any security policy I want, whether that's OAuth, OIDC, uh, JOT, API key, however I want to do this authentication authorization to agents, I can isolate that on the agent side. On the upstream side of the gateway, I can integrate uh, with the security mechanism of each individual tool server and abstract that away from the agent. So no matter what the security mechanism is here, I can integrate it with the gateway. I can also, using technologies like Ambient Mesh, isolate the network access to these individual tool servers and only make it available to Agent Gateway. That means that even though I might have a tool server that is unsecured on its own, the only workload or the only network access point for that tool server is the gateway itself. And we know that the gateway is implementing security as the front door to that, so there's no unsecured access to that. In addition, Agent Gateway, when used as an ambient WAMP point, can implement on behalf of semantics for identity. And that means we can not only state that Agent A1 has access to this specific tool in this tool server, but if a given user happens to use that agent, I can allow or deny access when that agent's acting on behalf of that user. The final point I'll make here is around observability. If I'm going to explain the behavior of an agent, I'm going to look at the chain of thought reasoning from the LLM. I'm going to look at the call flow from that agent to the LLM and potentially to other agents. But certainly every agent is going to be interacting with tools and likely more than one tool. Okay. If I want to go get telemetry for that given tool server, metrics, tracing, logging, right now I'm fishing into each one of these tool servers individually to get that telemetry data. But if I can concentrate all access to those tool servers through a single access point, which is the agent gateway, now I have a single source that implements open telemetry for metrics, tracing, and logging that can be centralized and give me that end-to-end -end observability, auditability, and explainability that I need for these agentic use cases. Now, one thing I want to highlight here is, again, MCP as a protocol is a stateful protocol very heavy in terms of body uh, processing, very unlike traditional L7 protocols. That alone challenges existing network infrastructure, load balancers, API gateways, proxies. And that's exactly why with Agent Gateway, we implemented a new AI native data plane from the ground up designed around these AI and agentic protocols. Check out the Agent Gateway site at agentgateway.dev.